Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. For over a decade now, I've been helping people recover from OCD. I've myself suffered and fully recovered from severe OCD, as have my clients. Today, I wanted to talk to you about how to properly react to OCD feelings when they come in. So whether the feeling is physical or emotional, when it comes in, you have no control over it coming in, but you do have control over your reaction. If you start taking it seriously, if you start viewing it as important, if you start figuring it out, comparing it to other people, this person said this online and this person said that online and this other person said you're making it worse. And tomorrow the feeling is going to grow stronger. So view every time you get a feeling as an opportunity to show your mind indifference. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It is how it is. So while you're saying it is what it is, I don't care, it is very loud. It is um, kind of, I give this example in other videos, it's basically standing in the middle of the room screaming at you and you're trying to go about your day, but that's exactly what you need to do. You're acknowledging its existence. Yeah, it exists. Right now I have this feeling. Okay, me and a million other people who have OCD also have the same very real, very disturbing feeling. And that's fine. And I'm continuing about my day while this feeling is very, uh, very loud and I, I feel it a lot. It feels very real. Okay. So basically you're putting on full ignore mode where you hear it, but you don't acknowledge it in any way. You're not trying to make it go away. You're not trying to uh, subdue it. You're not trying to change one feeling to another. You're doing none of that. You're just yeah, okay, it's over there. I have this to do, this to do, this to do. So I'm going to go and do those things and whatever it says, that's its own thing. So you're separating yourself from it. If you want to go actually a step further, uh, you can name your feeling. So that, that's Bob. Bob says, oh, thinks, feels all kinds of things. Because it has nothing to do with you. This is being brought upon you. You know, this is autopilot coming in. And you're taking it as a moral thing, as it means something about you. And then you start to go down this rabbit hole. So we're acknowledging its existence, attributing it to OCD and disregarding. And like this all throughout the day, the less you acknowledge its importance. So you acknowledge its existence, but not importance. Like, yeah, it's there. It exists, whatever. Like that. Not, oh my God, this is the most important thing. I can't believe I feel like this. If you make it like this, if you make it important, it's going to come in even stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Versus if you downplay its existence, like, yeah, it's not really important, then you make it weaker and weaker. But it's going to take a little while to get there. So don't get discouraged if at the end of the day of you disregarding, you're not fully cured. You know, it's not going to it's not going to be that quick because you've made it quite a big deal in your mind previously. So your job is just to continue to do the same thing. Feeling comes in, and again, physical or emotional feeling comes in. Yeah, okay, it's there, whatever. People with OCD have these kinds of feelings. Okay. And you're just continuing with the day. Regardless of realness, intensity, severity, uh, content, um, doesn't matter. This is very important that your mind will always try to one-up with content being more and more disturbing in order to pull you into compulsions and or rumination. So the content is irrelevant. Yes, it can be very disturbing. It means nothing. It's just coming in on autopilot. And why is it coming in? Because every time it comes in, you're reacting, you're showing your mind that this is scary and important, and it brings it back to you because it wants to protect you from something that's scary and important. So the more you make it a big deal, the more it will come back. The more you make it a not a big deal, the less it will come back. And it's continuous work. You can't expect that if, uh, let's say, I'm doing 15 minutes of recovery work a few times a day, it's going to get better because you're doing so much more um, damage than helping the recovery. Do you know what I mean? You can start there, but it needs to be a progression where you're doing more and more recovery work each day, more and more. This, this is, again, not to sound whatever, but this is where the tracking comes in. If you're tracking, then you have a clear accountability where you're saying, okay, yesterday was this, today is this, and tomorrow is going to be that. And you, you have it, boom, boom, boom. You know what's going to happen. You, you can actually even approximately figure 
where you're going to be for at what point will you be at zero rumination at zero compulsions which means at zero anxiety it's all very predictable but you have to stick with the process every single day so reducing your reaction every day no matter what i hope my, you find my videos helpful thank you so much for listening i will be back tomorrow with another video if you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me all the information is on youhaveocd.com you can sign up from there and book a session from there i'll see you tomorrow